Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming and in this video I'm going to show you a few purchases. I'm going to open up a few packs and I'm also going to show you a PSA Returns. We're going to start off with the PSA Returns. This one is not as long. It's uh, primarily focused I think all on Cosmic Eclipse and a lot of it's the Hyper Rares and Secret Rares and honestly I did pretty good on this submission. Uh, I was kind of impressed with some of the, the extra added color to some of the hyper rares within this set and uh, yeah, I mean the grades on this they turned out pretty good so far all tens got vile plume have a double of that one fly gone as well let's don't double up in the background I must not have sorted these to have them out of order like that so volley we got great catcher the print quality is good. There's another great catcher. Got giant hearth. I don't know if I'm gonna actually put these in by now. I may uh, put anything that I have extra of. Like maybe I'll put them all in by now and then anything that has greater than quantity one, I'll send one through auction two just to see what happens. There's another vial plume and a fourth one. Look at that. Fourth four. There's a Sol Galeo and Lunala. We've already had one of those. And a third one. I believe we had Oracorio at the beginning as well. There's a third one of those. Look, our first nine, and it's Flygon. There's another ten for Flygon. And check it out, Flygon is also our second and third nine. So we've got a few more, that's about half of them. Ooh, a Lowland Persian GX. And another ten. There we go. We've got a different nine this time. Got a nine on this Arceus and Dialga and Palkia, Palkia GX. But there's the ten that we're looking for. There's another ten, and another, and another. This is probably one of my favorite artworks. It's got Reshiram and Zekrom. It looks like N, right there. I'm not completely familiar with those trainers as much, but I'm pretty sure that's N. And the only reason I think I would know that is because of how playable N was for the longest time. There's another Silvali. Got Island Challenge Amulet. There we go. Another Great Catcher. Another Rod. Another Catcher. Now, I remember when Power Plant came out, it was pretty playable. I wonder if it still is. Got that one in a Secret Rare. Draw Energy. Oh, what's my computer doing over there? Looks like my computer's doing some kind of update. Yep, it's making some kind of noise now. That's weird. We'll just keep on going with the video. We've got Tag Call, Lily's Pokey Doll, and then we have Martial Arts Dojo. And then we're going to finish off with a second Lily's Pokey Doll. So overall, it's pretty good. I think there was only, what, like three Flygons, one Alolan Persian, and then that Arceus 9. Everything else was a 10. As for some purchases, I have a few BGS cards. Blaine's Arcana 9.5 Gem Mint. I'm not a BGS collector, so this one may be going up for sale. I'd ordered these cards off of someone through um, a PayPal invoice and they had taken, it had been, it'd been over a week and I'd emailed them, asked them you know, where the cards were, if they had tracking, no response. So I opened up a case or a message center um, hold through PayPal and then they didn't respond through there either and then all of a sudden the stuff just appeared today and it shows that it was shipped out on the 15th. So took only one business day to get here, but I don't know why it took them forever to ship it. And I still haven't gotten heard a follow-up message from them. But here we have Devolution Spray. I paid a hefty sum for this sun. And it's not that appealing of a card, but you know I needed it for my set, so I went ahead and bit the bullet because it's already like doubled since the last time I tried to buy this thing in auction. Here we have a Kabutops First Edition Gem at 10. I already have one, but I had already submitted an offer by the time I had won another one, so and then they, they actually accepted my offer and I bought it. So this one will probably go up for sale, but I think I paid $410 for it, so that'll make much on that. And then we got a Bulbasaur also from, uh, this is also from Dave and Adams. Uh, they, I had, what was it, Missy's Gyarados and something else I just bought them in the previous purchase video. But Bulbasaur is pretty cool, and if you look at it, it's actually a gray stamp. Let's see if you can see the difference. See how dark that one is, and that one is definitely not as dark. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so 
I'm gonna read this note. Hi, TCA Gaming. This time I sent you some very special vintage bootleg booster packs. They contain cards which the second gen Pokemon artworks used in the unofficial Beckett Pokemon Collector Guide, a very interesting old magazine that talked about Pokemon cards. Currently, this magazine is no longer produced since I think 2003. The booster packs are also vintage with approximate date 2000 to 2001 and are very coveted, to, coveted among collectors. The card trick is also very easy. Hollow is in the first place. Best possible pull is the Lugia or Ho-Oh Hollow of the booster packs with the TR logo. An Espeon or Umbreon Hollow from the ones which the base set two booster colors um, among the collectors we call the first type Beckett second ed because the second ed stamp, second ed stamp on them and just Beckett for the base set two ones. Hope you enjoy opening and have fun guessing the compositions of the cards. Thanks as always for your work in this community regards. And there's his Instagram. Looks like Escazoid E pokey bootleg cards and then YouTube Eskazoid poke or Eskazoid card and bootleg. So there's that. We're gonna look at the packs to see me. You know, I didn't even realize these were coming in the mail. He may have emailed me about it. I was like, yeah, send them my way. But I get that kind of stuff all the time where people are like, hey, I want to send you this. Uh, what's your address? And I get my address and then that's it. Yeah, I don't ever hear from him again. So we're looking for Umbreon and Ho -Oh in this one and Espeon or Umbreon in these. So let's just open them up in the order that he sent them. Kind of cool. Lots of vibrant color. Reminds you of Watsy a little bit. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm not sure which. I'm gonna assume that the front is facing the front, so I'm gonna turn this around. There we go. Oh no, it's damaged. Look at the lightning, the chip. Oh. All right, so we have Dark Arbok, second edition. I guess that's what he was talking about there. Lots of high HP and attacks, man. Togepi Trainer. That's pretty cool. Got a, a Typhlosion or Bakufun. <laughs> Baruka. Baruki. Or Tyrogue. You got a Quilava or Magamarushi. Magamarashi. Magamarashi. I don't even know. <laughs> Rainbow Energy. And then you have Gengar. That's pretty cool. You got Skarmory or Iamudo. Got Cyndaquil. Wait, 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 that has the same name. Mega Marashi. Yeah, same name, but Cyndaquil. You have Deli Bird or Darabadu, Darabado. <laughs> it's a weekly tough card. Well, look at that. Evolves from Clefairy, which is, you know, so it's from a Clefable card. It says put Clefable on the basic Pokemon. And then you got Jigglypuff over here, so that's a weekly tough stage one. The metronome and minimize is definitely from the Clefable from Jungle. And you can see they made it 225 out of 64. Kind of cool. And you got an energy card. So let's see what hollow we have. Boom! A Mantine or Matai. And that's put on Kangaskhan. See Fetch and Comet Punch. That's from Jungle. Alright, next pack. It's terrible that I have a lot of the attacks memorized for cards. I guess I've just been looking at them so long. Alright, put the hollow right there. That is a weird looking jump bluff. Wow. Oh man, it's OC. Off center. Got a Feraligator. Alright, cool looking scissor, which I think those attacks are from Seeking. You got a Meowth, got another Skarmory, a Gliger, got, I think that's Bayleaf, not Meganium, I was about to say that. You got Dark Weezing, then we have Suicune, oh that's pretty cool. That's coming from uh, Marowak. Boomerang, that's pretty obvious on that one. Alright, let's see what we get for the Hollow. Oh, it's a Hupip and Hane. <laughs> Gather Fire and Fire Tail. That's the Charmander from Team Rocket. All right, pack number three. See if we can get one of those Lugias or Hugs. Oh no! Hope that thing doesn't start going off. All right, there's Meowth. Got Electrode. Ooh, look at that Mewtwo. Weird font, but check it out. I think that's off of the Zapdos from base set. We've got Bayleaf again, Abra, Cyndaquil, Politoed, which 
definitely from Gloom, I think. Tyrogue. Then we have the Dark Charmeleon card, but it's Meganium. And then Gengar, and this is from Snorlax with its stick, thick skin and body slam. All right, for the Hollow we have Don Fan. That's pretty cool. It's got like little stars in the background now. And they actually spelled his name kind of like Don Fan. All right. We didn't get the Umbreon, or we didn't get the, the Ho or, L or Lugia, but we are looking for Umbreon or Espeon in one of these packs. And they're similar to the base set, too. I didn't see it. Maybe you guys did, because I was kind of tilting it down. Hope not. We got Meryl, got Blossom, got a Bayleaf again, and we got Sunturn, Spinarak, Apom, which is from Dark Gyarados. You got. That might be, that's just the Ampharos from Neo Genesis, but this is from Dark Vile Plume. Check it out, I still got Giovanni in the background or for the boss's way. And then you got Togetic just flying around. Jump Luff on a dark Blastoise card. And then we have Sunflora. Sunflora. Alright, for this holo we have another Meryl. We doubled up. We doubled up. But that's alright, it's pretty cool. Two more packs to go. I'm going to save the Gengar one for last. We'll open up this one. Ooh, we got us a Noctowl. This is probably what from Doug Trio. Might be from Doug Trio or Dark Doug Trio. This is from Dark Primate for sure. So that was that might have been Di or, or Diglett. I don't know why, because it would have had a evolution box or something right there. We got Ladybug on the front. Got Hoot Hoot on the Dark Machoke. Got Lydian. Got. That might be Dark Flaffy. I don't know. I mean, the card itself is on Dark Weezing stock. And there's that Politoed again. You got Mareep. Is that Skip Loom? I think that's Skip Loom. Then we have Wooper. And we have a Murkrow. All right, here we go. The Hollow. Giraffe Rig! Man, it looks all goofy, though. Oh, that one's first edition. So I guess it's first edition. Oh, yeah, these are first edition. I didn't even notice. Two packs in. Pretty cool. It's got like a different hollow full pattern to it. One pack to go. Thanks so much to Eskazoid. I appreciate you sending these. They're just kind of cool to open up. Just add a little extra flavor to the videos. Oh, look at that Miss Drevis. It's kind of cool. That's on Magikarp from Team Rocket. You got that giraffe rig that we just had in a uh, hollow form. You got Pupitar on a Pidgeot. You got Croconaw on a Dark Dragonite. Ooh, there's a, this should be the Dark Raichu card, but it's Chinchow. Kind of like the fact that it's on that stock. You got Az Azumarill. Oops, I skipped the card. And there's that Apom, or I think it's Apom. It might be Ambipom. Ambi I think it's Apom, though. You got Smeargle. Here's that Mareep again. And then we have another Sunken. For the last and final hollow from the Gengar pack, we have Fear It on Dark Doug Trio, first edition. Look at that hollow full pattern. That's kind of cool that he changed up the hollow full pattern. All right, well, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you're interested in any of this, just let me know. Thanks.